Dramatic fall from grace for a hard-charging, high-flying Miami businessman arrested Friday for ripping off famous friends who invested in his company. ABC's Matt Gutman has the story. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, George. And those celebrity friends included star basketball players. There was a former presidential candidate, a former Florida governor on his board of directors. The SEC, though, says he took $40 million of their money, all of it, built on a scheme of lies. Federal authorities say Claudio Osorio styled himself a self-made multimillionaire entrepreneur. The suave and savvy jet setter who had climbed mountains for fun and scaled the heights of the Miami business community. But this morning, federal authorities here say he's nothing more than a con man. Entrepreneur of the year is Claudio Osorio. Osorio, seen here on YouTube accepting Ernst & Young's Entrepreneur of the Year Award, reportedly rubbed shoulders at the White House and sought investments from basketball stars Dwight Howard, Alonzo Mourning, and Carlos Boozer as he built his company in Oviedo. Former Florida Governor Jeb Bush was even a board member. Individuals who are looking for investors very often will have celebrities involved to give an air of credibility and attract other people to invest with them. Osorio's company promoted lightweight modular wall panels like these, saying they would revolutionize shelters after disasters like the earthquake in Haiti. But instead, the government says Osorio pocketed half of the $40 million he raised, spending the cash to pay for his $12 million mansion on exclusive Star Island and to buy a Maserati. He had the makeup of an incredible fraudster. Miami businessman and lawyer Chris Korge invested $4 million with Osorio. Once he got everything he could get from me, I started to notice that the interaction I had with him started to slow down. But after Korge and others became suspicious, they filed lawsuits against the Venezuelan-born businessman, forcing him into bankruptcy. Then on Friday, Osorio and his partner, Craig Toll, were arrested, charged with 23 counts of fraud and money laundering. Now, we reached out to Osorio's attorneys. They did not respond to us. The company CFO's attorneys did respond. They said he was an honorable employee of the company and shouldn't be charged with any crime. George. Okay, Matt. Thanks very much.